Hey, Fellowship family, I hope everyone is doing well today. As we know, we are right in the middle of Holy Week, and in a couple of days, we'll be remembering the sacrifice of Jesus on Good Friday, and then just a couple days after that, we will celebrate Jesus' resurrection and triumphant victory over death on Easter Sunday. In the weeks leading up to this week, I've been deeply encouraged by the way this church body has drawn near to one another in this season, showing love, encouragement, caring for each other, and praying together daily, being the body of Christ in the way we've been called to. Family, we've been able to come together in these specific ways and care for others in shepherd-like ways because Jesus has changed our lives. Like he's marked our lives. He's changed our story and affected the way that we see things in this current season because he's given us a truth, a foundation that we can stand on. Right now, there are lots of people that are asking questions and looking for answers in this season, which is an example of the ripeness of the harvest season here and now. And during this week, Holy Week, I can't think of a better time for us as believers to share stories about how Jesus changed our lives personally as a way to connect to others. If you tuned into Pastor Joe's live connection after his teaching uh, this past Sunday, you heard him invite you and I to take part in a nationwide and now a global wide testimony initiative called Jesus Changed My Life. And that hashtag is Jesus Changed My Life. Now, this is a 90 second self shot video where we can share how Jesus changed our lives. You take this video on your phone or your smart device, and then you post it to your social media feed where people who know you but might not know your story and how Jesus changed your life and changed your story can be exposed to your testimony to God's goodness in your life. Now, I have to say for myself that even though I'm on screens a lot and I serve in front of other people's due to being a part of the ministry, posting something of myself on my social media, on my Instagram was a really, really big step for me. And I know that it might be for some of you. But I want to remind us again, there are a lot of folks online or on social media looking for encouragement in this season. And your story about Jesus can serve as an encouragement that brings glory to his name and it can open up doors of kingdom opportunity. So how can you go about posting your own story about how Jesus changed your life? I've got some helpful steps for us, some helpful tools and points for us to think about. First, you use your phone or smart device. Then you turn it landscape style, making sure that it's eye level with you and that you're in some good lighting. Speak up so that people can hear you. And then most importantly, make sure the camera is actually facing you. And then you can use these four helpful prompts to help you tell your personal story. First, you can start your story by saying growing up blank, then fill in a sentence there. After that, you can say my life was this. Here you can say what your life was like before Jesus. Next, you can say, then I heard. And then you can say, man, I heard the story of Jesus. I heard the good news of the gospel. And then finally, the fourth thing you can say now. Now my life is this now that Jesus changed my story. If that outline is helpful for you guys, then feel free to use it. It helped me and mine, but I also added in a little bit of my own flavor. And so if that is something that you want to do, if you just want to use your own story, your own prompts, your own flavor, go for it. But please make sure you communicate that Jesus is the one who is the hero of your story and it can be the hero in other stories as well. After you're done, post it to your social media page and use the hashtag Jesus changed my life and tag us at FMCFW. Fam, Jesus changed my life over a decade ago and my life has never been the same. I can't wait to hear how he's changed yours. Let's make Jesus famous this Easter by the word of our story and the word of our testimony. Peace.